Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share how to differentiate the inverse tangent x. First of all, we let y be the inverse tangent x, meaning to say tangent y is equal to x. Assume that we don't know when we differentiate y, we will obtain secant squared. So, what we have to do here, we express tangent in terms of psi over cos so we have sine y over cos y equal to x if we are already familiar with differentiation and we can apply chain rule directly here then we just go ahead if not then we just let again so we let a be sine y over cos y meaning to say we let sine y be u and cos y be v so when we differentiate u over v we will obtain v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared so we apply in this way as we can see a is expressed in terms of y so what we have to do we just differentiate a with respect to y so from here we have v du dx so v is cos y so du dx we differentiate sine we obtain cos so we have cos y then minus u is sine so sine y then we differentiate v so dv dx means that differentiate cos we obtain negative sine then v square we have cos square y so from here we can see that the numerator equal to cos square y negative negative become positive sine square y over cos square y if we want to simplify over here we know that if we apply the identity cos square plus sine square equal to one then we will have one over cos square y so one over cos is secant so meaning to say we will have secant square here but we are not using this form if we apply this form as we can see secant and tangent we are not able to convert back to tangent if we are not using identity so what we have to do here we simplify using the fraction that we derive over here so this is equivalent to okay we split the fr fraction so we have cos square y over cos square y plus sine square y over cos square y so cos over cos equal to 1 plus sine over cos equal to tangent y so from here we have a square then what is tangent y tangent y is equivalent to x so meaning to say we will have plus x square so from here we have dA over dy is equal to 1 plus x squared. As we can see, our intention is to obtain the derivative of the inverse tangent of x, meaning to say we are looking for dy dx. However, we don't have dy dx. What we have here is dA over dy. If we take dA over dy times dy over dx this is actually equivalent to dA over dx as we can see if let's say we assume that dy and dy can be simplified then we obtain dA over dx then what is dA over dx the term that we let here so as we can see we let a be this term and this term is over here so meaning to say a is equal to x so we have a is equal to x when we differentiate both side is equivalent to we differentiate dA over dx and we differentiate x with respect to x so we substitute dA over dy times dy over dx we have differentiate x with respect to x we have 1 
So what is dA over dy? dA over dy is 1 plus x squared. dy dx remain equal to 1. So meaning to say dy dx is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. So this indicates that when we differentiate the inverse tangent of x, we obtain 1 over 1 plus x squared. Then we're done. Now let's proceed to the expansion of the inverse tangent of x. In the previous part, we learned that when we differentiate the inverse tangent of x with respect to x, we will obtain 1 over 1 plus x squared. Meaning to say if we integrate both sides with respect to x, we will obtain the inverse tangent of x. So we will use this idea to obtain the Maryland series of the inverse tangent. So what we have to do, we first let fy be equal to 1 plus y. So from here, instead of using x squared, I will simply use y so that when we come to the differentiation, it's much easier. So we have f at the point 0 is equal to 1 over 1 plus 0, which is 1. So now we come to the first derivative. So when we differentiate with respect to y, we obtain power bring down. So power is supposed to be over negative 1. So bring down negative 1, then power minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1 become minus 2, which is power 2. So at the point 0, substitute, we obtain negative 1. Then we differentiate again. Again, power bring down negative, negative, positive 2. Then 1 plus y to the power of 3. Then again, substitute 0, we obtain 2. So we differentiate again. Then we obtain so power bring down negative 3 times 2 is 6. Then 1 plus y to the power of 3 become 4. Minus 3 minus 1 minus 4. Then we have minus 6. Okay, since I already have 4 non-zero terms, so I believe it's enough. So let's form the expansion of the function y. So fy is equal to, okay, the first term here is equal to 1. So 1 over, this is not derivative, so we start from 0, then x to the power of, supposed to be x, but the function is y, so we use y to the power of 0. Then we have plus, okay, the second term is negative 1, so we have negative 1 over 1 factorial, y to the power of 1. Then we proceed to the second derivative 2 over 2 factorial y to the power of 2. Then the third derivative plus negative 6 over 3 factorial over times y to the power of 3 and so on. So from here, 1 over 0 factorial is equal to 1. Then 1 over 1 factorial 1, 2 over 2 factorial 1, 3 over 3 factorial 1. Meaning to say all the coefficients here should be alternately plus minus 1. So we have 1 minus, because positive, negative, this is positive, this is negative. Positive, negative become negative. So we have y, then plus y square minus y cube and so on so we have y is equal to x square as we can see we let y be x square so we substitute then we obtain 1 minus x square plus x square square minus x square to the power of 3. So we have 1 minus x square plus x power 4 minus x power 6 and so on. This indicates that 
I have 1 over 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 minus x squared plus x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 6 and so on. So if we integrate both sides with respect to x, then we will obtain the inverse tangent of x. So integrate 1, we obtain x. Integrate x squared, we obtain 1 over 3x cubed. Power plus 1 over power plus 1. So we proceed. So integrate, we have 1 over 5 x to the power of 5. Then minus 1 over 7 x to the power of 7 and so on. Then we done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.